All right, hi guys. I am here with the Luxby Aesthetics and Susie Happily Ever After collab. First of all, I unboxed this already, so it did not come like this. I've already like ruffled through it, so don't think that it came packaged like this. I definitely destroyed it. Um, so my goal today is I'm gonna do two looks, but I'm gonna do like a one on each eye kind of thing. Because I want to get to use this and review this and I'm so excited to use it and I'm going to try and do a full face of makeup and use just these products obviously not for the face makeup but you know you know what I'm saying either way I'm so excited to try this so let's see what we can do Okay, so I did unbox this over on my TikTok, so if you're interested in seeing the products like in depth, I would go check it out over there. But I'm going to go through them real quick, the whole collection. I did get the entire collection. Couldn't help myself. It's so pretty. Um, Luxby Aesthetics is amazing, so I already know the quality is going to be great. Um, and then they did a collab with um, Spooky Susie Sparkle, I want to say. I always like, it's three s's and i always somehow like mix them up so i'm hoping that i'm saying that right but the collection is called happily ever after as well so it has a 12 piece brush set i hope i counted that right um that are in this gorgeous green i'm so excited for those so if you haven't noticed the theme is like green and like irish celtic um so i cannot pronounce a lot of the names of this collection so i apologize for that i'm not even going to try there's this gorgeous green it's got like a blue shift to it um glitter paste from luxby aesthetics i'm obsessed with these um there were two pairs of lashes now luxby does amazing lashes but they're normally like really colorful and like kind of crazy in the best way possible um but this one this is the half lash and these are like both like natural lashes um and then the full lash they're so pretty so i might wear a pair of lashes i'm not so sure i think i kind of want to wait and use those for like a look that i'm actually going to be wearing out so i might skip on the lashes today but i'm going to try to use as much of everything else as possible there's a gorgeous highlighter that's almost like a gold and green like shift. It's really, really, really pretty. And then there is a lip gloss. Luxby just started doing lip glosses. This you can see has like a pink shift to it. It's called True Love's Kiss, but there's also like a gold and like green shift it's really pretty i can't wait to try this on um and then the celtic palette now i am so excited i do love luxby's palettes um this one is amazing and i love well green's also my favorite color so i'm a little biased but I'm excited to use this literally on St. Patrick's Day. I always complain that I don't have any like good greens. Oh, that's a little out of focus, sorry. Okay, so I do love that this is also like a neutral palette with like a lot of green. Um, it's more like a green palette with like some neutrals, which I absolutely love. So I'm gonna try to do two different looks I might try to do like a neutral look with like a little pop of green and then like a green look. But we're going to go with the flow. We're going to see what happens. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and prime with my Milani eyeshadow primer. This is the one I've been using for quite some time. I keep saying that it's not my favorite, but it works pretty well. So I definitely don't know why I'm complaining. <laughs> Because it really does not do a bad job. Like, I don't really ever find that my eyeshadow creases or comes off or anything like that. So, 
All right, for the first look, I think I'm going to do more neutral. But now that I'm looking at some of the neutrals that I thought were beiges, they're kind of like olivey greens. So I'm really not mad about that at all. I'm going to start with the deepest brown shade. Like I said, there are some things that I absolutely cannot pronounce. And instead of trying to butcher it, I am... <laughs> Like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Um, I'm going to go in with this darkest brown. I do not know how to pronounce the name of it. It's Q-U-A-I-C-H. No clue how to say that. Um, but there are definitely a few in here that I do not know how to pronounce. I'm just going to start by putting that on the outer corner of my eye. A little bit in the crease, not too crazy. All right, I used my color switch, which if you're not sure what a color switch is, it's literally something you rub your brush on to change the color. It takes off all of the pigment, which is nice. Sometimes it doesn't totally take off everything, but you know, switching them real quick, it's wonderful. Um, I'm going to use the shade hand fasting which is this like olivey green mat and I'm going to try and blend out the brown a little bit and I'm going to bring that into my crease further Okay, so I did go back in and add a little bit more of the dark brown. Um, I'm going to take this shade now called Oathing Stone, and I'm going to just blend out the edges. This is a Blend Bunny Cosmetics V1 brush. I realized I'm not that great at saying what brush I am using. I forget that people want to like know those things. I'm still getting used to this YouTube life. Okay, so I'm going to take this shade right here. Another one I don't think I can pronounce. Um, the greenish gold in the middle. I did just swatch it on my hand. And I think it's absolutely stunning. It is going to make this look a little bit darker than I was hoping for, but I don't think I mind that much. I'm just going to take it on my finger for now. Alright, and that's about it. Sorry, always touch my microphone. That's about it for the eye look itself. I did go ahead and pop the shade Blessings on the inner corner, which I think is stunning, and I'm obsessed with it. Um, I'm going to do eyeliner and mascara at the same time, because um, I'm also going to do... Actually, I don't know if I'm going to do face makeup. That was originally the plan, but I feel like I don't know if I am going to. Um, so I am going to just move right on to the next look. Okay, for this look, I'm thinking I just want to do, like, the greens. So I was thinking of doing, like, a quick little smoky eye, but it's really just going to be, like, green. <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Sacred Vows, which is the, oops, there we go. It's, like, the dark, see, they don't look this different in person, I feel like. I guess they do. Um, I'm going to take this one right here, the little bit darker one, and I'm going to pop that in my crease all the way across. Okay, so I do feel like this came out a lot lighter than in the pan, so I was going to take the shade Clada and kind of just buff out the edges. But I don't know how much of a difference it's going to be. So we're going to see. And then I almost feel like I don't even really need to buff out the edges. Because the edges are already pretty.
pretty buffed out. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be crazy different. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. Okay, so this turned out a little different than I was expecting it to, which is fine because I think that this has a darker base, the shade Celtic Knot. It looks like it has a darker base, kind of similar to the shade right here. Um, so I feel like it will still work for my little smoky eye action. If not, I will just adjust. But honestly, I think it's going to look good either way. Like, look at this. That is so pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I forgot to film it, but I just went and stuck the brown and this olive green shade called Hand Fasting under my waterline, uh, my lower lash line. And then I decided to take the same green shimmer and put it under. I think it really does create a good smoky because it is a dark base. And it also is like the perfect like green, like Kelly green shimmer. Like I in love with it so i did stick um the shade blessings also on the inner corner here because i just couldn't help myself i think it's going to be like my new favorite inner corner shade i absolutely love it um i'm going to finish up my eyes like eyeliner all that and i'm going to come back for highlighter okay here are the two finished eye looks i honestly don't even know which one i like better which one do you look better? I did add a little wing, like a tiny wing, to this eye because that's what I would have done if I were, you know, wearing this out. And I, I just love this green though. Green is my favorite color. I can't decide. I like them both. Okay, anyway. It's time for highlighter. Um, I will say one thing, though, is that Lux B Aesthetics, the eyeshadows are just, like, such good quality. Like, I literally can't get over it. I'm pretty sure I only have the Cosmic palette, which I was obsessed with. And I think that's what started my love of Lux B eyeshadows. Because everything else from there is just glittery and amazing. But, like, the eyeshadows are so good. Um, okay, anyway, yes. So this is... Fairy Ring is the name of this highlighter. It's so pretty. So we're going to... I just have my P. Louise. This is a 667, apparently. I didn't know that. I did put a lot on there, though. We're going to tap that off a little bit. And we're going to just go for it. Chuck up. This is crazy good. Crazy good. Hold on. I'm obsessed. This would really make an amazing inner corner shade as well. So... I'm literally dusting it over my eyebrows because I want sparkly brows all the time. I don't know. I saw it somewhere and I was like, yes, I want that. Okay, I'm going to go put on probably like a nude lip and then we're going to see what this gloss looks like on top of it. All right, so I just took the shade 90s, which is a velvet matte lipstick from Silk Naturals because this is like my perfect nude. I feel like it's like not too pink, not too orange, and we're going to see what this shade called True Love's Kiss looks like on top of this. I am very excited for this. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to apply it with my finger. 
because I hate when doe foots get like other lipstick lip glosses on them. So I'm just going to tap it on. I feel like that's a pet peeve of mine that I didn't realize until recently. Sorry if I'm covering my face. Shut up. Like, look at that sheen. That actually made this lipstick look even better with this look both of them i feel like i'm gonna put a little more on because i just can't help myself i'm also wondering if because it's like a nude that I, it's showing up more gold because in the tube it like you can see right there it like looks very pink so i'm wondering if i try it over a pink lip if it would turn out looking more pink it's stunning over the shade though i could just stare at this all day i think um what do you think Okay, so this is the final, final look. I decided not to do face makeup um, just because I wasn't feeling it today. But, like, look at this highlighter. Look at this lip. The eyes. I think this is amazing i think these products are amazing the only thing i didn't use was the glitter paste which i'll probably use on tiktok instead um and the lashes but i want to use the lashes when i'm like going out and actually wearing the makeup out um as much as i would love to go out with two different eye looks and probably not um but i want to know what you think have you tried lux b aesthetics have you gotten this collection what are your thoughts on this collection do you love it is green your favorite color also like what intrigued you by this collect like what about this collection intrigued you sorry i am not good at forming sentences apparently i'm obsessed so anyway if you would like to follow along in my makeup journey which i really hope you would please subscribe um you can find me on tiktok on instagram at mermaid hair donut care like donut um just like on here and i plan on doing a whole lot more reviews rankings um if that's something that interests you please follow along because there's always more bye